This video is a little bit different than usual. One of my viewers asked for me to review their demo reel or show reel, whatever you'd like to call it. So this is me taking a look at it and providing feedback. If this is something interesting to you guys, please let me know in the comments below and make sure to like this video. that will also let me know that you want more of this kind of stuff. So that way, maybe in the future, I'll open it up to everyone so I can give feedback on people's demo reels if it kind of fits what I do myself, because I won't be reviewing music demo reels. I know nothing about that. But with that, let me show you how it went. Be brutal and honest, you're used to taking critique. Good. Okay, let's see this. Okay, modeling, lighting, screen shader effects, sequencer animations for cinematics. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so you didn't do the animation for this then. I'm under, what is understanding from this? Or does screen shader effects mean the motion graphics? If that's all of the this stuff, I mean, I might put motion graphics here. Uh, also, is this your best piece? Just keep in mind, you want your best piece first. I haven't seen the rest, so I can't say that's... Let's see... Uh... Why is it called Fresnel? Oh, Fresnel Angle. I guess, yeah, it's Fresnel Angle. Uh, although you do have it on both sides there. I'm gonna look through this... Um, first. PCG instance oh, 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 insta to actors for optimizations. I mean, there's just that's just called using instance to actors. I think that you're making this sound more than it is, but you just use instance to actors and then it does that for you, right? Um, this was before the uh, the plugin that I would take it out at this point. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. It is uh, too long already. I'll tell you that. No one's going to uh, be here, but at this point, most people will, will click out. So I'll, I'll finish it so we can see it all. But... First of all, it is way too long. Second of all, I don't think this should be your first piece. I feel like if you were going for a motion graphics position, this would be a, a great piece to start with. But it sounds like you want you're not going for motion graphics because this is really showing motion graphics more than anything else. Or like you do motion graphics, UI, like that kind of stuff. I think all of that would fit here. It's good, but I don't think it's like first one. The next one here, you're changing one value. So here we start uh, basically at the beginning of nine seconds, and for four to five seconds you've changed one value. Don't do that. Don't change just one value over four or five seconds. Go quick. Show everything it can do. Instead of one value, if you want to show your material, it's cool that you could change the, the direction of it, but you have other controls, or if that is the only thing you have, I would drop it. You'll need to drop some things because again, it's too long. But if you're doing, like showing you can do materials, like show you can do materials with a bunch of different stuff. The next one here, you have a layer material. You're showing you can do tinting, right? That's basically what you've done here is just you're tinting it. That's not impressive. Multiply by color. You got a tint. You have a bunch of layered stuff. Great. Show how you can control and make it interesting using that system. That isn't just changing a value or changing a color. Make, show what makes your layered setup powerful and very like user friendly, things of that nature. Maybe even throw in that this can also work with vertex paint and throw some vertex paint on this thing. One minute is roughly what you want to do in length. Yep. You could do two but it needs to be like really solid too. Yeah, it needs to be like the more professional work for two. So for this, again, this one is the straight, these are both material ones. This can all be done on, on one thing. And then when you show the material, I'll show mine. I do, uh, I have a material system I set up in my uh, demo reel, the last one I did. Doesn't mean it's very good, but I can show what I did afterwards. So yeah, don't do just like a color change. This is nice, right? You see how you're changing things? You're rotating there a little too much, but you, you saw how you, 
right? You changed a bunch of values there and you quickly showed, okay, you can do length, you can do how far out, you can change the color. That was great. Rotation, a little bit confusing. I don't know what you're showing with the rotation here. Like the fact that it's always faces up, you don't need to rotate that much. You could rotate it 90 degrees and, and in a quick movement and be done and just add more like, hey, what else you can do? This is cool, but this doesn't tell much because right, you can't really see, look into this. So it, nice, but take it or leave it personally. But you don't have much to go on in screen anyway. So I guess it's a good use of screen. If I was just saw here, right up to the first effectively 28 seconds, plus your intro card, it will probably be the first 30 seconds. From the first 30 seconds, I'm assuming that you are into motion graphics and materials. You're in that kind of stuff. So right based off that, 30 seconds is a lot of times the most someone will watch your reel. So from those first 30 seconds, I now assume, okay, you got some material and really ignite, like some nice motion graphics work. I don't think it's what you're going for. Now this is actually, this starts to be here is where this starts to be more, I feel like tech art. But here you see I have a uh, tree hit wobble positions and direction influenced. So this, right, what this says, effectively tells me that you have just made the system for the tree and nothing else. You might have done this, but like not the animation, not the environment. You've done the system for the tree. Was it just the system for the tree or did you do all the other stuff surrounding it too? Because if we go just off this, I'm looking at the tree. And that's a nice, nice effect. You did everything except the leaves. Okay, then you should uh, state that. You should say like full environment work, except effects. You can say except FX, just FX, make it short, plus tree chopping system or, you know, like something like this. You don't just say tree hit wobble specifically. We see that, right? When this happens, when the wobble happens, all of this happens, we see what's happening. So you don't need to specify this here. You only should specify what did you do so the viewer knows, okay, what are we looking at here? Based off of this, I'm assuming that you just did the tree. Not the animations, not anything else, just the tree. So specify as such. Okay, but this is good. If you can show the controls of the tree, that would be amazing to make this actually like more uh, like show how it can bend. Like if it's a modifier, you can just slide back and forth. Just show, hey, you can this is what you can control on it. That would be great because that seems interesting. And I'd want to see more probably than the little bit compared to just sh showing that you can hit from a different angle. It's nice. But this next one, this right here, custom depth stencil with pattern, occlusion masking and tree trunk fading unlined trace. All cool, but nothing super special because I know YouTube tutorials that show this, how to do this. From my point of view, as a, if I'm looking to hire, I immediately can spot that, hey, I know I can find a tutorial for this on YouTube right now that shows me exactly how to do this. Don't have something on your reel that very clearly is just a, potentially a tutorial that you have followed. I'm not saying that that's what you did, but if that is all it, it would take to recreate it, it needs to be a little more. All right, same with the culling of the leaves, right? I, I know the tutorials for this. I've watched them so much. This is cool. But that's so fast. This one's I would drop, but this, you move something, you, you put a, the word loop in there, and all of a sudden you're in a map. And I think you tell, like, it, that needs to be explained better. So maybe what you should do is, if this is what the map, and you put a new location down, if, if that's what you did, because it, it was so hard to tell. If that's the case, in here, you want to show this, you want to like circle that there's nothing there, like where you're putting a new location down, and then you want to put a new location as you did and then show that here it appears and then here you can see you could like now teleport to it or whatever it is this needs longer time to explain what it is that's happening i think the system is potentially really cool but goes so fast that i don't actually know what happened great actor that gets added to a teleport list for level design and testing that's cool it's all going so fast i have no time to read this just to be clear maybe like, like okay i'll kind of explain here it's it's not because i don't have time what this should tell you is just what did you do? The video should t show how things work. This should be like, out of everything on the screen, what part of it did you do? Create a quick teleport system or quick travel system. That could be the bottom um, system. And then here you show, okay, here's the locations and everything. So the video is supposed to show exactly what you did and how you did it, basically. And this just says the main thing we're looking at. This is now, right? We both know that this is now a built-in system. So it, it is not that interesting. Um, this this also, unless you're going for an animation position, this is not very useful. This is cool, but unless you're trying to go for a rigger or animator or something like that, right? It's it's not. Also, that hurts my eyes.
That right there hurts my eyes. Let's zoom in and then all of that. The, the part that you want to be looking at is right here. But what percentage of the screen is this? If you want to show like a, but you can do like a bunch of like monitor type effects. Make a cool, like put a bunch of TVs and just have different effects in all of them. And just be like, and then just down here, just like create like TV effects, you know, right? Do so you just have one big thing of like a bunch of them? And then they would be bigger on screen as well because there's not like a super uh, large amount of them. Because right now they're too tiny and you have to zoom in, which when you zoom in, especially on this. This hurts my eyes. It's high contrast and my eyes are not happy. Uh, and if someone's eyes are not happy, they're clicking away. They're closing it. You have a lot of material stuff. Uh, I have no idea what I was supposed to look at here, even with the description. First discovery material layer effect. If it's this, this just looks like noise on top of an object. I would drop it. So if you're showing that you can rig, that's great. I would show the rig and then show it animated right after. This is, I was very confused when I saw this one because this one is, yeah, you fractured it and then you expanded it, which is built into Unreal. So I was very confused on what did you do that is unique. It shows that you know how to click the fracture button and then click the expand amount. Remove it. This should come after the rigging to show that animations, assuming you don't have any better animations. One thing that was threw me off is why is the light off? You see how it's on? It's sparkling. It's on the head. Why did the sparkle go off? It throws it, the sparkles back. I noticed that. Also, again, bomb shader means the only thing you've done here is the material for the bomb. You didn't do the animations. You didn't do the environment. You didn't do the throw. You just did the material and then the explosion. I assume you've done more. We're back to materials again. What are we? I'm looking here and I'm seeing it get blurrier. Okay. I, the only thing I saw change when you started this segment is things got blurrier. So I think you're showing depth, trying to do depth of field. No. Not helping. Drop it. If you cannot tell immediately what's happening, drop it. This is, again is cool, but custom world UI shaders with, with spline based a procedural testing system. I don't know what a procedural testing system is. It says custom world UI shaders. Did you create the landscape and materials? They don't say create landscape environment. And did you do these? You can say create landscape environment and, and ship motion graphics on path or on navigation path uh, with navigation system. Drop this entire thing. It's cool. It's silly, but this end part does not show any of your work and does not help you. It just, it's running time. And again, the main thing is you want to be, you want to be shorter and just focused. You're good at taking a hit. You'll love the you battle. Good. Glad to help. Um, I'll go find my demo reel. So this is the material system I had at the time. Again, advanced layer material system. Control the material per layer, including how each layer blends with each other. Disable blending per layer and more. Again, just, just brief description. What did I do? And now, you know how I said, just show a bunch of stuff. Here's like a bunch of stuff that it can do. Here's all the different blending. I, I tried to go as quickly as possible. Hey, yeah, I have UV controls. I have offset and blending controls, fake controls, intensity, tiling, right? I just try to go through all the different kinds. Here, I just show that it can do different blends, right? I just basically went super quick. Just show that it moves, show what changes. And visually, you can quickly see without looking at what I'm changing, what is uh, being modified just by looking at um, here. Now, again, I'm not saying like this is like the amazing demo reel. I, I think it's not, but this is kind of the thing. If you want to show the material, this is how I would do it. Happy to help. 